All right, last uh, football story to go over. Here we go. Steelers' new offensive coordinator plans to lean on Roethlisberger, saying we are going to do what Ben wants to do and how Ben wants to do it. Okay, okay. You might get yourself into a little trouble with that. Big Ben's not going to... I mean, this is his last year, folks. He is going to go balls to the wall. He will throw till his shoulder literally falls off of his body. So, you know, believing in, believing blindly and, you know, just kind of doing whatever he wants could get this Steelers team into some trouble, especially if Najee Harris is looking real good. Maybe Big Ben doesn't kind of want to share that limelight in his final season. Maybe he audibles out of these plays. Oh, it's not a rush. It's not a running play. It's an ADR bomb play. What are, we, what are you talking about? It, it's an ADR bomb. I'm letting it loose, and then the ball only goes four yards, and it's an easy pick. But let's see what we're talking about here. <clears throat> Entering his 18th NFL season, Ben Roethlisberger is learning a new offense under first-year offensive coordinator Matt Canada. The offensive coordinator speaking to the media for the first time since being promoted from quarterback's coach in January said, while the playbook might be different, the plan remains the same. Build around Big Ben's strengths. Quote, I think in football, it is 11 men doing their job, but the quarterback is their focal point. We are going to do what Ben wants to do and how Ben wants to do it. Our job is putting every player in a position to make plays. Unfortunately, that's what um, hurt the Steelers last year. Big Ben couldn't make the plays. They had no run game, and Big Ben just could not make the throws come week 16 because the shoulder was falling off the bone, unfortunately. So, you know, trying to do whatever Big Ben wants... That's going to get you in some trouble here. You need to build the offense around Najee Harris. That's what it is. You need the running game. It's got to be like the Titans, folks. Having Derrick Henry be your main person and then just relying on the quarterback and the wide receivers to be game managers. And I'm taking Big Ben over Ryan Tannehill as a game manager, even though that Big Ben's in his 18th, 18th year. And I'm definitely taking the plethora of great Steelers wide receivers over the Titans wide receivers for the last two seasons. Maybe not now with um, with uh, Julio Jones in the mix. But, I mean, can we talk about how, how great these Steelers wide receivers are? Let's get their depth chart up. Juju Smith-Schuster. They've got Chase Claypool. They've got... Uh, Deontay Johnson, I mean, they've got them all. James Washington, they got Ray Ray McLeod as their fifth option, folks. That's a fifth option wide receiver right there. Solid. I'll give them solid there for Ray Ray McLeod. So, and then you got Eric Ebron at the tight end position. So they've got pieces everywhere, but you need to make sure that running game is A1 tier one. It's got to be, folks. We just saw what the Steelers could do with great wide receivers and no running game. It's, you know, an undefeated season up until, what, week 12, and then you start losing games, and then you don't even win your first playoff game. That's what we just saw. So you need to build this offense around Najee Harris, let Big Ben be the game manager, you know, have the heavy run game, and then, you know, you've got great wide receivers when they're not the main focal point that are definitely just going to be absolutely more elite than what they can be because the defense is focusing on the running game, which is the focal Focal point of your offense, and then just have Big Ben slinging around on the play actions, on the passes that you fake them out with the run. When they're all pushed up for the run, that's when you take it big. You save Big Ben's arm for the back half of the season. We don't care if you go 5-0. and That's going to mean nothing if it does not result into at least one playoff win, a nice deep playoff run. The 5-0 and will be will mean nothing if it's all relied on Big Ben. It's, it's going to be a mute point. It's going to be unfortunate, but that's how the season played out last year, and I don't want to see the same thing twice, folks. What are we talking about? So we'll see. This could be dangerous, folks. This could possibly be really not good here for this uh, this new offensive coordinator. But we'll see if he kind of reins it in, changes his thinking, or maybe we're just blowing out, uh, blowing these quotes out of proportion. But let's keep up with this article. We got a couple more to go. Uh, the expectation is that Canada will employ more pre-snap motion, jet sweeps, and tempo changes than the previous iteration of the Steelers offense. The new offensive coordinator believes the tweaks to the offense will fit the 39 year old. Well, and the quarterback won't limit the operation quote. I do kind of like this, you know, more jet sweeps. Absolutely. You've got talent everywhere. The ball doesn't need to kind of be in big Ben's hands. Every single play. 
Here we go, quote. We would certainly continue to use tempo and use the thing that Ben is very good at to let the offense be the most productive it possibly can be. There are changes with terminology and how we are calling things, which has been a challenge for Ben, but he has been great at learning it. I don't have any concern about Ben doing anything we want him to do. And then the last uh, quote here leading up to the quote, Canada noted that he was given a directive from team president Art Rooney, uh, general manager Kevin Colbert, and coach Mike Tomlin to improve the running game. Yes, exactly. you need to. You def that's, like, uh, that's a necessity, folks. You definitely need to. So at least everybody's on the same page on that, and that's fantastic. Uh, the new offensive coordinator expects that operation – to improve behind first round pick Najee Harris. Exactly, folks. We've been saying this. We've been saying this before the draft, folks. Exactly. So, all right. This is kind of making us see. This is kind of making us buy into the Steelers a little bit more. Canada also noted Harris's ability in the passing game. Yes, yes, he's saying, okay, all right, we've got nothing to worry about for the Steelers team. Everybody's on the same page. Everybody knows that Najee Harris can catch the ball as good as he can run it, folks. We had Najee Harris as our number one on our big board, folks. Here he is, Najee Harris, number one, Travis Etienne, number two. We wanted the Dolphins to take Najee Harris at number 17 in the draft, and that didn't happen, unfortunately, but the Steelers were able to go him up and I'm fine that he went there I've got no problem because he's going to be able to excel here so all righty yes sir let's finish oh, I'm glad we finished off this article here fantastic all right Canada also noted Harris's ability in the passing game I mean, folks, we watched the play over and over and over again. In the national championship game, the ball thrown right behind him because Mac Jones is not that accurate of a passer. Mac Jones throws the ball way behind Najee Harris. He turns around, one-handed catch, uh, turns right back around, and then finishes off for the 15 yards for the touchdown, folks. It's an amazing play. You have to go watch it if you have not seen it. It's the best play of the entire national championship game this season, and it's Najee Harris doing it. So we love it. All right. <clears throat> Canada also noticed, noted Harris's ability in the passing game would help keep the running back on the field all three downs, which will allow the Steelers to be more deceptive in their plans. Oh, my good. All right, folks. I'm buying. I'm 100% bought into this team now. Oh, yes. Steelers are potential Super Bowl champions. It's them or the Colts coming out of the AFC. I'm loving it already. Quote, matchups are the key to football, and what Najee can do in a game at receiver is something we are very excited about. I think he's going to have a tremendous season. Oh, yes, so do we, folks. Yes, sir. I think he's going to have a tremendous season and a tremendous career. Oh, yes, sir. We think he's going to rival kind of what uh, Derrick Henry's doing. Uh, maybe not as good as Derrick Henry uh, because Derrick Henry's fantastic, but he could definitely be that tier level of running back that we want to see in this league. Uh, and a tremendous career because of his skill set, his work ethic, and his football intelligence. Oh my! Okay, they sold me, folks. I I don't know. We I know we said we're gonna be Bucks fans this year, but I think we're gonna be Steelers fans this year, folks. I cannot wait to see what Najee Harris does and uh, Canada here. What's his first name? Matt Canada. He knows what's up, folks. We are one billion percent believers in Matt Canada go get it done and go let Ben Roethlisberger ride off into the sunset with a Super Bowl win all righty I'm loving it woof I'm loving it now woof